Yo, what's up to everybody on Diary of the Dark? Check it out, Kaz Van D coming at you. Um, uh, for all you guys that have just joined, uh, you may have noticed that I have a bit of a thing for masks. And this is my Hellhound mask. It's a neoprene ski mask. Um, but I just love them, I think they're awesome. This is one of my favourite ones, just because there's the teeth and the nose and things like that. Um, I think it looks pretty awesome. So, uh, that's just to say, you know, for everyone that's joined, a big hello and thank you very much for joining Diary of the Dark. Please feel free to put others in contact with the site, that would be awesome. Um, I'm loving all the artwork that people have started putting on. Um, it would be great in the future if maybe I could expand the site and have more people with artistic horror flair joining the site as well um, and try to expand it really. I mean it started off about a year ago um, because I've been out of work now for about five years due to health problems which I won't go into but I needed something for me, you know, to occupy myself, something to do, meet new people, people that share similar or the same interests as myself. Uh, so I set the website up and um, some friends came over from another site called The Underground, which was run by an awesome friend of mine, Mr. Gary Johnson, aka Mr. Mascaris. Um, and uh, great, you know, very thankful for all of that basically for anybody that joined from that site and it's just kind of gone on from there. So uh, it's really good and everyone that's joined recently, I just want to say a massive hi and thank you again for joining. Um, today I'm going to share with you guys a book I just got recently. Um, if you haven't already guessed or... Uh, you know, they're maybe a little bit surprised, but I really am obsessed with zombies. Um, I don't know why, I think it's probably because when I was younger, like horror films did scare me. Um, and as I got older, I really got into them, and I think, you know, the older films that I'd, I'd watched when I was younger um, had like zombies in and stuff, and I just thought they were too like, they still had like, you know, a human identity, and uh, they were still, but they were still scary. You know, with the, the, the sound I think it was that they made, like the and things like that, probably scared me more. Um, but yeah, I mean, the whole politics behind it as well, I really enjoy, and the history of it. Um, so I'm quite obsessed with zombies, and uh, I picked up. A book that I thought might help me with some of my custom figures. Um, also, I just thought it looked awesome. It's Zombies, an Illustrated History of the Undead. And uh, here it is. So, I'll show you guys the cover there. And give you a bit of a size show. And then the back cover. You can see some of the older films there. I Walk with a Zombie. That's absolutely amazing film. Um, so, this is basically the history of zombies. It gives you everything to where, you know, it first like originated from, from like the Haiti or Hathi tribes. Old, you know, back in the day. Old wives' tales, and also going back to your voodoo culture and like raising the dead and things like that. It shows you the history of its origins. There. It's a really, really fantastic illustrated book with a lot of information. It goes on then to to share from like the 60s, you know, the well. 40s forties, fifties, sixties, seventies, 
you know, hey, she's nice, you get it. Um, <laughs> Dead and Buried, Creep Show. Um, it shares with us um, a lot of interesting things, really. And uh, even goes on to, you know, the old school video games. Can you guys remember those? From uh, years ago. And also some of the more recent ones, like Overkill. I love playing that game on the Wii. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Awesome game. Um, and we've got the old school Evil Dead. First, and then a bit newer Dead Rising. Resident Evil. Um, just uh, have a little look here. And find uh, yeah, Resident Evil games there. And it shares with us music as well, obviously White Zombie, Rob Zombie, um Misfits, they're an awesome band. Love the Misfits. So there's a lot in here, it's it's really interesting. You've got Michael Jackson's thriller with the zombie dance, um like um, zombie walks, a growing epidemic of hardcore zombie fans. So I'd love to go to something like that, that'd be wicked. Um, and then obviously it goes on as well to share the comics. Um, more there. I love the Walking Dad comics, I've just bought the first volume of the hardback edition. Um, I haven't read all of them yet, I'll be honest with you, but um, I've heard some really great things about it. So I've just ordered that, um, and then I'll see how that goes. There we go, Walking Dead comics first. I'd rather get the hardback editions of some of the comics than having a big pile of them everywhere. Um, I know like, it's good for the cover art to get the paperback ones um, and sometimes I do just purely for the cover art um, but then I like to have them in sort of volumes as well like with the True Blood comics um, I started to order them with the paperback edition and then um, I discovered the hardback and just for pure space really I bought the hardback edition of the True Blood volume one um, and then I need to buy volume two obviously because we've had more since then in the French Quarter and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, I do, I really enjoy my comics anyway and literature. And this book was from Amazon UK for, I think it was around about five or six pounds, which is brilliant because I checked the back when it came and it retails for £17.99. But I think I paid like £2 posted, so you're talking half the price of the book from Amazon UK and as you can see, just from the cover, it's awesome. It's a sign uh, So I'm going to use it basically to um, concentrate on some of my custom figures and probably do some zombie related ones to begin with. Um, I would like to move on from there to doing um, non-human eyes as well. Um, maybe some like old school monsters like Creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, I'm in the process of finishing off a Frankenstein figure that I made and I've made it quite not actual as in like realistic but I've made him look quite um, almost comic like. Um, I used model paint for it which obviously have that varnish on, that gloss to it uh, other than like acrylics and things. So I've done like a Frankenstein but I made it quite like yeah quite like comic right so I'll be showing you guys that when it's properly done um, but yeah I've, you know I also want to say that well, I've just moved house so I'm in a new place now and it's the first chance I've had to actually sit down have a bit of time out and make a video um, so I apologize for not making one sooner 
but it's been pretty hectic. I'm sure you guys can understand with moving house, there's a lot going on and there's a lot of stresses that come with that. Um, so this is the first opportunity I've had and like I said, I wanted to share the book that I got. Um, and, uh, and just kind of like welcome everybody. Look at that for an image, that's cool. You can guys see that. So yeah, that's the book on zombies I had. Um, and uh, there's going to be a competition, guys, basically. It's going to be starting at, uh, I'm kind of thinking July, um, for one month and until August. It will be art-based, media-based, you know. I've had a couple of these competitions before where the site was uh, a lot smaller and I think they're quite successful. So I'm going to be running one again and um, you guys have to remember as well with the prizes, it's like it does come out of my pocket, you know, and I have to pay monthly for this site. So I'm limited to what I can give away, obviously, uh, due to money. But one of this, and if you see how much like I paid for it there, this will be up for grabs, which is Freddy versus Jason versus Ash. So I'll show you guys that. Um, it says get the popcorn out and maybe some nacho cheese because this series is pure entertainment. That was by Fangoria, which I love that magazine. And I'll just read it back to you. It says completely over the top, a damn fun read. The Kings of Horror return. Freddy Krueger, the master of nightmares. Jason Voorhees, the unstoppable manifesto of vengeance. Ash Williams, the wise cracking hero chosen by destiny and screwed by fate. <laughs> Hailed as one of Fangoria magazine's top 10 horror comic series of 2009, Freddy vs. Jason vs. Ash the Nightmare Warriors is the last instalment of the Versus trilogy that began with the theatrical release of Freddy vs. Jason with a body count rivaling a small war. It gives each of the classic horror characters an unforgettable chance to make their final bloody imprints on the event trilogy. By the time the smoke clears, only one of the horror items will walk away alive. Written by Jeff Katz and James Currup, Army of Darkness, with art by Jason Craig. So, there you go guys, that's the back of that. Um, I've only I bought this recently, um, when I visited my local comic shop, because I thought, you know, the whole Freddy vs. Jason we've seen, and now vs. Ash. It's pretty cool. And also, with the competition being a holiday theme, um, Jason, obviously, the camping, Crystal Lake, you know, um, and, like, the, the whole Ash thing, that was, like, a holiday and shit, you know, and everything, and, and Freddy's just thrown in there. But it's going to be holiday-based, so this is up for grabs, um, along with some other prizes that are to be announced and the competition entry and rules etc so i'll be putting that video up in july mid july so watch out for that uh, keep enjoying the site keep rocking on please feel free to invite your friends um as you can already tell guys you know i allow pretty much anything on the site you know to boost subjects a lot dark art where you can't get that on many websites, but on mine, you can. Um, and like I said, I hope to expand it and get some more artists on there. Um, we've had some fantastic people joining, like Dali Bell, Weird Up Dudes, nice to meet you. Um, I know he's a massive gamer fan, um, as well as a hardcore horror fan. Um, and then there's Martin, Weird Up Martin, nice to meet you. He's put a lot of effort into the site already and shared with us the convention pictures um, that he went to at the weekends and then also we have some amazing people from the USA, Word Up, Samantha, Taylor, um, trying to think off the top of my head, uh, Jodie is inviting a load of people over so I appreciate that Jodie, thank you dudes. 
Um, big shout out to Justin, Rez, Kathy, Walshy, Helen, Laura. Uh, if I haven't said your name, I apologise. I'm trying to wrap my brains. Who's uh, who else has joined? Um, there's Carl, Mark. Not seen you guys for a while. I hope you get back on. Um, and many, many more. If I've not said your name, like I said, I apologise. Brain dead. This is Kat Van D, Diary of the Dark. Catch you soon.